then you'll be able to get a good fee for whatever it is. So uh, don't, don't worry too much. Uh, that's uh, the, everybody's. Uh, somebody's interested in everything. And anything you can be interested in, you'll find others. But it's absolutely stupid to spend your time doing things you don't like. And use me out of parts.com hashtag. <laughs> I already told them about the you, you did you already put the torsion on your website? Yeah, the torsion's up. I can okay. give you a link. Yeah, yeah, so I'll put the link. I'm gonna put it in the last video too. I told them last video. And then turbo kit, I've gotta fix something and then we can put it up. Anyway, uh, if you guys saw my last video yesterday, um, I did end up getting the right size socket to tighten the axle nut. I got both axles to seat fully, so that is not a concern anymore. I'm glad that that's done and everything's good. It, Tommy actually happened to have this for doing Subaru, something with the Subaru Trans. It's a 35, but it had to be milled down to fit, and it fits perfectly with the hub. So that worked out really well. Uh, today, we're going to put the steering shaft back in. Um, there's some slight clearance issues with the headers from what I understand. So we'll have to kind of bend the bracket over to gain a little bit of clearance. We're going to put the steering rack in, front suspension on, maybe the rear brakes, front brakes, try to make it a roller again. And I really want to make a trans mount if we have time, but we'll see how long else other stuff takes. Right, Ben? Since Ben's yep. here, it'll take like five minutes. Ben's, Probably Ben's the pro. Pro me out of work on her. <laughs> okay, we're doing it. All right, well, Ben's already two steps ahead. Nice. So if you guys can see that bracket by the firewall, it's kind of blurry right now because this thing's focused on the bar. There it is that bracket you got steering shaft then bracket back there so that needs to go over some which will pull the rack over all right the rack the shaft you can see it's hitting the header right now manifold not cast iron steel I don't, it doesn't matter what i say i messed it up uh so yeah we just got to gain like an eighth inch clearance there and we should be good to go ben's idea is to put the rack on first and then connect everything and then Try to bend the steering shaft. Yeah. Had to get some uh, ice cream from the ice cream truck. Crosby made me do this. A good point. We worked for like two minutes and then now we're on ice cream break. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. All right. Can you drop that jack thing? Oh yeah, that would help with it. such I think it's hitting so we need to grind down this nub on the steering rack just to give us a little more clearance See you later. So I was thinking about it. I remember Martin had mentioned, you know, prying here to bend everything over. And 
once we did it, I was like, wait, but what about when we turn the wheels? And that shaft just gonna have been bent? So that's what happened. The shaft was just kind of bent. So we bent it back straight and then we bent the bracket here at the you know firewall and bent it over some. Um, we got our necessary clearance with a bunch of power steering fluid on the ground. We, yeah, uh, so steering system complete. We need to put the suspension on now. I'm gonna do it. Shout out to Ben for always coming through with the parts. Since I am not very smart and I threw my control arms out because I was like, this is it. Subframes in, I'm gonna put the angle kit on and now I don't have control arms, but now I do. Because Ben's a good friend. <laughs> You guys obviously don't know about this because I never made a video on it because it didn't work out, but I was not able to put the Zarek Fab angle kit on. Um, it hits right here where the subframe is boxed. I'll insert a clip to show you guys. Well, we have already run into a problem. Um, oh man, this just, nothing can go right lately, guys. Not bummed kind of bums. I don't really know how this is going to work. So this arm is curved because the factory subframe doesn't have this bracing here. So it hits the bracing before the rear you can go in far enough to get the bolt in. I mean, I can grind this down some, but it's going to be like butted up against the subframe. I'm not going to be able to adjust anything. So we were putting this all this on just to make the car roll again. Um, so that when I need to do the clutch on the Z, I can roll it out and it'd be like, a roller but it's kind of pointless because if I stick with stock arms I need to do bushings in them and I got to do an upper ball joint I need to do tie rod ends it's like why put it all together to take it right back apart um, so I don't know if I'm gonna do these arms or another aftermarket arm there's a company that makes one that might clear uh, destroy or die they do me out of stuff so that's a possibility if not just stock arms inner tie rod spacers and I should hopefully be able to get around 55 degrees maybe do a different cut knuckle. So, I don't know, I'm really up in the air. You Miata guys. Uh, what knuckles do you run? What kind of angle do you get? Uh, do you, any of you have experience with the destroyer dial or control arm? If so, do you know what kind of angle figures you get? Uh, <laughs> well, what else? Uh, yeah, so can't do anything more on the front. At least we got the steering rack in. That was on the concern list because it's a tight squeeze down there and getting the, the steering shaft clearance. So anyway, I say all this to tell you guys that we're gonna finish up the rear since the axles are in and we can. Oh, I got it. You gotta put the right side in first. How to waste your trip Sunday with trailer red. <laughs> Post on Facebook later. Yeah, went over to Taylor's house to do absolutely nothing. Think you just wanted company, loser. Some of us get stuff done on weekends. Can someone hang out with this guy so he leaves me alone? <laughs> Fuck. So I really wanted to try these. Sour Patch Kids Fire. I, I lied, I already tried one just now as I was grabbing the camera. You wanna try one then? Heat sensation. Tastes like a normal Sour Patch Kid. Well, there you go. Normal Sour Patch Kid. We're being lazy. Talking about what we're going to do with life. Because I don't know. Alright, well, it has been not really a long day. Um, we didn't get a whole lot done. It was one of those days where I wasn't feeling super motivated. Ben wasn't feeling super motivated. And when we started putting the front suspension stuff on. Sorry, I'm doing laundry. I'm still trying to get stuff done. But... When we started putting the front suspension stuff on, I was like, wait, this is kind of pointless. Like, I'm just kind of like half-assing this together just to make the car roll or when I don't even have a clutch for the Z yet and I don't want to stop working on this yet to bring the Z in here. Like, that's going to be another couple weeks. So I'm going to figure out the angle situation and the front suspension situation and what I'm going to run for that. 
um, and try to do that and have it like finalized and done before I pull this car off this lift to put the Z in here. I want the entire drivetrain done, you know, with the drive shaft either in or at least ordered, you know, have the trans mount made and the front suspension done and all that be done before I pull this car out of here. That's my goal at least. Um, we'll see if I can make that happen. I might have to wait a little while on some lower control arms. You know, it'll just depend. It'll just depend on that and if, if we go that route or what route we go. Sorry if there was a super shaky cam, my arm was getting tired. But big accomplishment again is the steering shaft. Like that's a big thing. Steering rack is bolted in. Steering shaft is in. Steering rack is connected, as you can see. So, I mean, that's that's very exciting. I'm really happy we got that done because it is a tight squeeze down here. The steering shaft. This is an MB steering rack, by the way. I think I just said shaft, but you know what I meant. Still got to figure out a conversion line from the NB rack to my GM power steering pump. So I need to get on that, try to get that handled. Um, but again, once we get the trans mount made, the drive shaft done, drive train is done, front suspension angle kit figured out, suspension's done, and then we're just worried about, you know, radiator, fuel lines, throwing in the new fuel pump, wiring, putting the interior in, putting the exterior of the car back together, making it look nice, you know, all that stuff, which isn't too crazy. The biggest hump was definitely getting the engine in and getting this rear subframe modified and swapped in. So I'm really happy to see that in there with the new diff and the axles and coilovers and done, you know, that's really cool. Um, we've also got to do the dual caliper setup. That shouldn't be too big of a problem. Pretty easy project. But anyway, uh, this week trans mount, that's going to be my goal, get the trans mount done. And again, we'll uh, to be determined on the angle cut stuff. Uh, huge shout out to Ben for coming over and helping and always being the Miata plug. Look, he's always got like any single part I need like he stocks pretty much everything. I've never run into a situation where I didn't have a part. And that's one great thing about staying with this chassis is because I know somebody who sells parts, you know, and I can find like anything I need. And it's definitely, without Ben, this project, we would have had a lot more delays on stuff. So huge shout out to Ben, Ben's using meoutoparts.com. Again, my stuff's on there if you guys want to check it out. Um, you know, if you're interested in either my Torsen setup with drive shaft axles mount um, or my turbo kit or my mega squirt. So, I'll uh, go out if you, you asked about that. So anyway, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. More project stuff this week on this car. Hopefully, fingers crossed, things go smoothly. <laughs> you guys know how it is. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Uh -huh.